Okay, this is going to be a video on basically how you're going to build your jig for bending your set me C receiver. So right here, I can have this. I barely spent any money on this to build. It was really cheap. So what you first need is your base plate of steel. It's going to be, let's see here, here's my receiver, however long that is. It doesn't really matter, it just needs to be strong enough. Then, you're going to take either angle iron or something that's straight to get these rails welded on. I actually cut mine too short first, so I did add some little pieces on the end. It doesn't matter. And then, how I measured the gap in between there, I made sure everything was nice and straight. And then, I took my old receiver the receiver ends right here on it, so you're going to take that and just make sure it's a little bit too tight to fit in there because you don't want it too loose and it's going to flex back anyways. And then make sure you got, it goes all the way through, but that doesn't just fall right in. And basically just weld those in place. Make sure everything's straight. Check your gap with this. That's good. And the reason that it's tight a little bit is because when you press it in, the right here are gonna probably flex out a little bit, which is fine. You just want it to be really tight. And then I have the rod that you're gonna need to press in it. Be right there. I think that's three quarter inch. I don't know what you're supposed to use, it's like 22 millimeters or something, I heard, but it doesn't really matter, and if you're worried about it, just, I guess, wrap this in some tape or something. It should get rid of the small metric to standard size differences. And you're going to want two holes drilled in there, and that's going to be for these two flanges on the sides right there. And right here that you're gonna be cutting off anyways. And just find a drill bit that fits in there. You can cut these holes on here a little bit bigger if you want, it doesn't really matter. I actually recommend cutting them bigger because, or drilling them bigger because if you get a bigger bolt, it's not gonna strip out as much when you're bending it. And anyways, you're gonna to wanna to drill those through the bottom of your bottom plate. You can see right here, and so your bolt head is going to be on the bottom here. You're gonna put it through this. It comes up. It's gonna go through this hole. Then when you're ready to bend, you're going to put your rod in over it like this. And once you get that lined up, you put your bolt through, put a nut on the top. Same thing over on this side. Same hole in the bottom there and everything. And then once you get that done, you center it and start tightening. And also what you want to make sure of here is this little indent I drilled in here and that one down there just shows that this is the front or that basically you're going to want to put these in the same place every time so you get it exact. And then also you're going to want to cut out a little recess right here in your rails for that your little opening on your receiver right there, the ejector port, whatever you want to call it, so that that doesn't get bent in. You can see it actually bent in a little bit on mine. I should probably actually cut that a little deeper. But anyways, that's all you really need. This thing doesn't need to be a, a U-channel piece of steel at all. It just doesn't really matter what you use, just something that's not going to bend. And I hope I answered all your questions in this video. And just ask below in the comments if you needed anything else. Thank you.